uh, I proceed uh, from where I left yesterday, but as some of uh, two or three uh, new uh, students have joined, uh, let me put a few things. Uh, yesterday uh, and day before yesterday in the evening, I circulated one file that contains uh, different uh, uh, extracts from the text. Uh, so they are 17 pages, but not 17 pages uh, in the sense uh, each page contains five to 700 words. But uh, there are some 30 to 50 words in each page. Now, those are different phrases uh, taken from different uh, page, different uh, uh, locations of the of the play, and uh, then uh, those uh, uh, there are single words and or phrases or sentences, and then uh, very important significant uh, references uh, that uh, uh, let us know about uh, the very wide range of uh, the. Uh, of the play and uh, uh, how the text uh, of this play is uh, something which can be uh, read uh, several times and every time perhaps uh, new meanings will emerge out of the interpretation. So uh, I know that that's why uh, the text is in our course because uh, it, we as students will be interpreting it uh, from various angles. Now uh, we see that uh, uh, Act One. Uh, if I uh, if I put this uh, in a sequence, uh, like uh, the uh, the beginning, and uh, 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 you have. Uh, uh, speech of uh, Dan in the beginning. Uh, you see, there are many references uh, uh, which this speech uh, contains. And uh, uh, this uh, also uh, puts before us the uh, prologue of the play. Prologue is a, a kind of preface, but uh, uh, but in itself, uh, it is a play. Now, preface or introduction uh, is a, a, a light word um, that is uh, not very, very technical uh, as a prologue is. So, uh, so what we learn uh, in the beginning is that Dan is uh, very restless and uh, uh, he wants to write uh, this play, but uh, uh, his restlessness, his anxiety, his uh, uh, state of uh, depression, uh, and uh, his uh, um, his uh, struggle, uh, his war with his own memory, and uh, his uh, 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 his struggle with the medium. His struggle with uh, language, his struggle with uh, distances and then secrets. Uh, secret, for example, uh, the secret of the uh, separation and then later on uh, the distribution of the legs. And then, uh, so you see, uh, so we have the, uh, I mean, very profound, uh, serious uh, attempt uh, made by them, and uh, the very in, in the very beginning, uh, we have a reference. For example, uh, there is a romantic, you know, uh, way of. Uh, I mean, romant uh, poetry was defined by romantic poets as a, a, a powerful overflow. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, of spontaneous, you know, so spontaneity, spontaneity powerful flow. But uh, Dan is talking about theater, talking about uh, play. And then he goes on, uh, he talks of other issues, for example, 
that is he makes it very clear why why does his own country not allow him to uh, to to tell the uh, taboo or uh, or why 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 uh, why is he sitting in uk and writing uh, this play so in a way he first uh, exposes uh, the uh, the primer that is when you are painting something you put first layer of the paint which is a primer and then you put the second layer and the third layer and then you start using your uh, pencil and then you go on using your colors and like that so there are different layers so the first in the very beginning the primer of the play uh, is there and we know that uh, uh, the play will be to show demonstrate the fractures the exposures the, the fractures the uh, holes uh, and uh, the uh, ruptures in the uh, among in 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 the story of uh, our life or in the story of a family and which is not allowed to be talked so in india for example uh, it will not be appreciated or it will not be considered aesthetically appropriate to talk of uh, this kind of story that a person from within family talks about uh, these uh, events so that would be uh, that would be censored it would be considered that the person may be considered mad or something like that so uh, so one thing is that we uh, he, the the beginning gives us the idea that that uh, that a democratic society uh, should not ban or should not censor those issues which which you need to talk because there are several areas which uh, uh, need our attention which need uh, participation uh, which needs uh, new ideas which need uh, uh, to be seen from a critical perspective from a logical uh, perspective so uh, so if because society does not want it society doesn't allow it or pe what people will think and what uh, uh, other other uh, you see uh, uh, family members will make uh, perception of it and uh, uh, what the relatives will think you know all those things uh, uh, are uh, in a very in in the very beginning of this play uh, question so interrogating so dan in a way is interrogating but it at the same time he is also interrogating uh, the uh, western uh, pseudo behavior for example uh, what does uh, england or western world want uh, us to tell them they it wants us to tell them about our stories uh, which are without any holes without any fractures without any uh, uh, critical areas uh, so so we show them our folk uh, culture folklorism or you see uh, we show them as if we are uh, spiritually drowned in some kind of eternal peace you know or we have uh, a built you know uh, culture that sings all the time that has beautiful colors you see so so this is so there there is you know commodification of uh, representing uh, issues uh, culture etc of india to the western world so that's again you know uh, one area which uh, he wants to um, take up so uh, so you see uh, if we go through uh, the series of uh, from uh uh dan speech uh, to uh, after that uh you see you have uh, uh uh light shifts from his speech because actually he is uh, his it is not his speech but it is his uh beginning of the writing okay of uh, uh of this play so play uh is in the process of being scripted and uh, uh, the sources of uh, uh, the writers uh, i mean how is writer to be uh, how where is writer uh, uh, deriving his information from uh, for writing this play or what is uh, uh, the method that the writer is using 
Now, if you look at uh, uh, the method the writer is using, uh, one is uh, memory. This is the one of the sources of uh, uh, his script. Second is interview. Another is interview. Interview between um, Thakkar, Dr. Thakkar and uh, Dan. So this is another. So this is another source the writer will get information from. And the third is self-reflection. The writer, uh, as he grew up uh, by studying um, uh, in convent education, and uh, he uh, he learned um, so many things. So during this uh, uh, during the play, we will learn that uh, Chandan had a dream of becoming writer uh, when he was uh, 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 very young. Okay, and uh, a lot of uh, there are a lot of references uh, in the conversation uh, between Chandan, Tara, and Pooja, and uh, you know. So we know that. At the same time, he also has very uh, uh, serious interest in uh, Western music, and then uh, we see uh, that uh, uh, writing uh, uh, writing comes uh, to him. Uh, from the idea he was brought up uh, uh, <clears throat> educationally and uh, culturally and uh, you know so so in his mind a writer is a, a, a celebrity or somebody you know who is to contemplate to reflect upon and the third area is the allusions allusions or references okay uh, that his uh, writing will be informed and then Fifth area, uh, rather, uh, fifth area is the uh, music resources. Okay, so uh, music resources, uh, be, uh, Beethoven, Chopin, uh, and uh, uh, third is Brahms, Brahms. Okay, so these are three uh, important um, uh, music uh, resources uh, from the history of uh, uh, Western uh, music. Okay, so with Beethoven, um, then uh, Chopin, and uh, Brahms. Okay, for example, the uh, second act ends with the uh, ends with this uh, uh, this uh, uh, this uh, um, uh, music uh, uh, which uh, uh, which gives uh, uh, Brahms first concerto. Brahms first concerto. This is uh, where uh, Act One ends with. So, uh, so we know now that what are the resources? What are the uh, what is the method of writing or scripting this play? Now we can include that the writer or Dan or Chandan uh, is using these six resources. Now, if there comes seventh or eighth, we can add to this. Uh, as we are many and maybe new, maybe certain insights will come there. Uh, so, uh, so you see, so uh, therefore the play <clears throat> will be uh, in a way constructed, not just out of imagination. So this is where, this is very important. Post-coloniality uh, is a, a kind of uh, interdisciplinarity. Okay, interdisciplinarity uh, of uh, creativity. Okay, and uh, uh, where participation is from memory, from uh, uh, interview, first-hand information, from documents. Okay, uh, you have the medical report, medical journal, and then uh, from the real experiential life of uh, of people. I think that uh, the entire play, uh, uh, I mean, there is a lot of role of experien experiential data in uh, informing the writer to develop this play. Experiential data is uh, the one which is based on experience, uh, experiences of one's senses, nose or tip of tongue or eyes or ear or skin, okay? So whatever, data come from whatever information come from uh, living room for example on the stage that is based on experience and uh, Tucker's uh, uh, input okay is uh, 
a view, a medical view, and uh, uh, a typical uh, clinical, uh, the, uh, the typical language of a, a clinical uh, uh, practice. Okay, and then uh, 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 music. This is a, a language which is not uh, something which you can decode in the sense we decode our language. Um, uh, um, these words or these sentences. Music is uh, uh, is uh, based on sound and notes, but no note can be exactly converted into a meaning. But it reflects times. It reflect uh, moods. It reflect you know cultural. So uh, so we see that the method is there now. What does this uh, method actually uh, tell us? that the writing of this play is a, a very complex uh, uh, process a very complex process it is not just uh, a table pen paper and writer kind of thing but it's you are in the amidst history you are amidst time you are amidst losing your own uh, life you see deaths you see uh, you see injuries you see suffering and uh, you see distance uh, you see so so it is so he creates a kind of you know infrastructure where history is not separated time is not separated socio political conditions are not separated uh, human beings are not uh, independent uh, uh, independent you know creatures who roam in some kind of uh, fairy world but they are very much part of the earth the political system, the, the nation, the community, the clan, and uh, uh, how their lives are treated, controlled, and uh, you know uh, how how they have how they develop ambival ambivalences, double facedness, how they suffer from split personality, and uh, so you see this this complexity uh, needs to be uh, take uh, to be uh, taken care of uh, in the very beginning and uh, uh, you see after dan the light shifts to the living room where you have chandan tara bharti uh, and patel uh, we must notice that bharti is the first name whereas patel is the second name what is the first name of patel we have to you know, because tara patel and uh, chandan patel uh, so patel is the surname so here we have a character whose uh, name is surname and here and bharti is uh, does she have a sur surname this is a name so here what is the intention okay of the writer to retain the surname of uh, uh, leading male character patel and uh, uh, first name of uh, of tara does uh, is it uh, is it because of the does he want to reflect the patriarchal notion that a woman uh, is not the uh, uh, she is not the one who will actually carry forward the uh, history of family but it is the male who carry forward carries forward so patel uh, multiplies and uh, whereas bharti's surname and bharti um, it it remains the same then in this uh, you see uh, say act 1 is divided what are the divisions divisions are what are the scenes in act one so scenes are represented by light 